In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to simplify sum of tan inverses. So for example, suppose we have this problem over here, tan inverse of 3 plus tan inverse of 5. Now before I jump ahead with this question, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, to remind you of a identity involving tan. So what I'm specifically after is tan of alpha plus beta. So if, uh, if you haven't done this before, the tan alpha plus beta, it turns out, is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta all on 1 minus tan alpha times tan beta. So we are going to be using this identity in this process. Okay, so how do we use this? The, the trick is to go this function over here it doesn't matter if I say that's the same as saying tan inverse of tan of whatever was in there of tan inverse of 3 plus tan inverse of 5 the reason being tan and tan inverse they undo each other because they're inverses of each other right but once I've taken this I'm going to be concentrating on what's inside here I'm going to be taking this part over here as my alpha bit and this part over here as my beta bit and then I will end up as saying this is equal to tan inverse of using this identity that I've written up over here it's going to be tan of tan inverse of 3 okay so I'm only going to be writing this for the first time and then hopefully you get the gist so they cancel or effectively they cancel each other out uh, plus 5 okay because tan of tan inverse of 5 all on oops I shouldn't have let me make the brackets bigger all on 1 minus 3 times 5 okay so I end up with uh, this is equal to tan inverse of 8 on 1 minus 15 so that's um, what is it that's minus 14 okay and of course you can simplify that to be uh, 4 on 7 okay so there you go um, so that's how you sum up um, tan inverses the trick is to use the identity tan inverse of tan okay so you can if you want so, um, so if I suppose I had tan inverse of uh, 3 plus tan inverse of 5 uh, plus tan inverse of 7 so what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be doing two at a time so you're going to you're going to say this is equal to I just found out this is equal to tan inverse of uh, negative 4 on 7 right and plus tan inverse of 7 again so you do use the same trick twice okay but the, the biggest concept that I want you to take from here is this thing over here rewriting as tan inverse of tan if I happen to have a separate question that asks me to do tan inverse of 3 minus tan inverse of 5 uh, you'd be doing the other identity you'll be using the other identity where you say tan alpha minus beta is equal to tan alpha minus tan beta all on 1 plus tan alpha tan beta so that's uh, that's it for this uh, this lesson so if you have any questions or comments please let me know but thanks for watching